very good news. Leonardo has just announced they're getting into the game of video generation with motion. And in this video, I'm going to show you the new features and exactly what's possible. Now, the good thing about Leonardo is that it gives you credit. So unlike a lot of the other tools out there that are paid only or free only, this has both features. You get 200 credits a day. When you do a motion, when you take an image and add animation to it, it's going to cost you 25 credits, which means you can actually do eight motions a day. Take an image from yesterday and add motion today. So let me walk you through it and let's just see exactly what happens. When you log in at app.leonardo.ai, this is what you're gonna see. This is what you're gonna see is right here. It will show you this, I guess it's a jellyfish. I'm not sure, I can only see the top half of it. And it will say, show me. Of course, we're gonna click show me. And it's gonna walk you through motion is our cutting edge new feature that puts you in the director's seat, revolutionizes your process with one click generative video. Simply click the image to motion video button on any image and watch your video generation progress. So let's go got it. So you can see right here at the top of the screen, they've really added a whole lot of stuff. They're constantly updating this and I don't talk about Leonardo enough because it's a little bit overwhelming for a lot of people. I kind of think of driving mid journey is kind of like driving a car and this is like driving an airplane. It's so much more powerful, There's a lot of switches and it can be overwhelming, but this tool is very powerful and it's worth adding to your arsenal. So this is the only other paid tool that I use. So you can see I have 8,500 credits rather than 200 because I do pay for Leonardo. I want to let you know that upfront. Um, it's really my backup image generator, but I use Midjourney about 90 to 95% of the time. So I don't use this as much as you would think, but I do pay for it. I want you guys to know that. So let's just click on motion to see what happens. So here they walk you through how to use it. Again, once you make an image, you're gonna click image to motion. So anytime if you forget how it works, no problem. So we could always start with someone else's image or create one of our own from scratch. So we're just gonna scroll through and see if there's an image that's interesting. You'll notice that there's a different aesthetic here than what you see on the feed for Midjourney, which is good. There's a very different style. It's a little bit darker. It's a little bit more anime uh, push here that looks a lot like the Niji, uh, which is the anime mode in Midjourney. And we're just gonna look for something that's interesting and kind of makes sense for it to have motion. Here's a cool fire with motion that someone's already done. Very, very cool. And let's do this one. Let's see what happens with the Gothic wedding. I don't know what's going to happen. So right here, you can see um, who made the image and all of those things. And the one difference, now there's one difference between free and paid version of Leonardo is that with the paid version, I can do a motion in private. So if I don't want anyone to know I made it inside Leonardo, that's the feature. But honestly, I don't care. So let's hit image to motion. And here's what's all about it. So you can see I can choose private or public. This is the one feature you don't have to have free version of major, I'm sorry, free version of Leonardo. It's not that big of a deal. And then you choose how much motion strength you want on a scale of one to 10. <laughs> now, what does that mean? <laughs> right? I've never measured something in motion strength, which is why I'm doing this demo for you. So we're going to see what this happens. It's going to cost me 25 credits. I'm willing to pay it so you can see what happens. We're right in the middle of the road at a five and let's hit generate. Now, you can see you can view your generation status in the AI page or in the personal feed when it's complete. So I can go to watch it work or I can close out and start working on other things. So it's working in the background. Let's just show what that looks like if I click view generation. You can see that it's in, pos uh, in process and how long it's taking. Uh, it doesn't have kind of the countdown or the percentage like you maybe use with other image generators. It just has a timer. So you can see it's been working for about 27 seconds. And this is, again, why it costs more tokens. One of the confusing things, and I know this about a lot of these AI tools, is that they're using this different currency. It reminds me of when I was at an arcade as a kid. And at first, you would just put in a quarter so you knew what you were paying to play a game. Then it became tokens that were worth a quarter, and then tokens changed in value. So it got really confusing. So here you can see our motion for uh, a five. And... What we really have here is feels like a green screen effect. It's not bad. This is very similar to what you get from Leapix, which is free. Leapix always makes me busy. <laughs> really effective. It actually, I've tested Leapix a lot. It does a rotational movement, whereas this is just doing a side to side movement. You don't have a lot of control over the image, right? I just got to choose what happens, right? I just got to choose on a scale of one to 10. Let's do another one just to get a sense of what different types of images can do. So we're going to go back to uh, the public feed and I'm just going to look for something that is 
not i don't want to have a person i want it to be this perfect a cityscape i want to see if it will move like how far it will take it because what i'd really like to see in this image is the cars moving up and down the street the people walking that's what i would love to see so we're gonna go image to motion and we're gonna go for a 10 like let's go crazy uh oh i didn't realize that last one was in private let's do it in public i'm not afraid let's click generate and what i'm gonna do is click close and we're gonna run a couple of these at the same time Let's see if I can do another one, image to motion at a one. Generate. So we can see the comparison of, we've seen the middle of the road, the five, which is what most people will go for, or three or seven, right? We always guess at a one to 10, everyone guesses a three or seven. So let's close that out. And we're gonna look for one more image that I wanna animate here. I like this one because there's no background. So I wanna see that the fire's gonna move up. So I have a, idea in my head right um and you can see this person's doing a lot of complicated negative prompting like don't make it a woman don't make her naked don't make her nisrobe don't make it nsw so this person really doesn't want nudity in their images which is very interesting because i've never seen a nude image in leonardo but you can see what people are playing around with and get a lot of ideas for prompting here so there's a lot of good things in leonardo it's just a lot more advanced than mid-journey so it can be intimidating it's not really Great for beginners, but it's really great as your second image generation tool. So I am a big fan. Let's do image to motion. This time we're going to go to seven. And I'm going to go public again because I want you guys to be able to see it. If you log into Leonardo, you should be able to see these images in your feed because it'll be in the public feed. I'll hit generate. And while that's going again, what I would be interested to see, I'm looking for him for an up and down motion of the wings and for the flames to be doing. Like this type of motion so you can know what i'm thinking in my head i want to see and the question is will the ai guess will the ai guess what i was thinking of let's see if there's anything else in the feed that could be really interesting it's completely different i want to click on do photography let's see if there's an image that looks super real and what it will do um this does look like a real woman doesn't it this looks more real to me this looks real but um run through a filter like an airbrush right so it still feels like a, i mean this looks like an actual photograph to me so this is really good it's in a specific style this is a lady i think she's wearing a hoodie so let's do image to motion for her we'll leave it at a five put it in the public feed and let's go view our generations and see if any of these are ready so we'll scroll down there should be some ready um this one's done over here this image okay so what we're seeing is it's a side to side. For me, this is a miss because it's not useful, right? This is okay. Where I would use this type of image is in a post, social media post that I want to catch attention. So this is something I've played around with a lot on Pinterest. Specifically, I noticed that if I have a GIF versus a static image, it gets more clicks because it catches the eye with a slight amount of motion. So this is not something I would even consider a video, right? GIF is like a short two or three second clip, which what you're getting here. This to me is a miss. No, this one. So. Not loading yet. Um, the problem here is that you can't see what number it is on a scale of one to 10 when you look at it. Like I can't see that anywhere where it says one or 10 because this one here, but this also says one. This one isn't loaded yet. Let's see if I click the eye on it. Eh, not moving, fine. So this, okay. This one is close. What it's doing is correct, but see how it's looping and looks wonky? Not ready for prime time. This is why I very rarely cover video content uh, because exactly this. So you won't see me talk about AI video. Now you can see why because it's interesting but not useful. This one I wouldn't use either. So the first image was usable to me. Um, it's also usable. This looks like she's turning into like a vampire. It reminds me of like those underworld movies from 20 or 30 years ago when the first one came out <laughs> obviously they're still i think they still make them this is also useful because it's there's two things about this is important it's strange but it doesn't violate the uncanny valley it doesn't make me uncomfortable so the uncanny valley which is 
really have to watch out for. It's happening a lot in AI video more than AI image right now, which is where it looks so close to human or so close to real, but not quite that it makes us uncomfortable. So if you've seen those movies, I think there was one called like uh, The Christmas Train. They made three movies that were motion capture movie cartoons for kids in the early 2000s. And then that company went out of business. All three of them were because of the Uncanny Valley. That's exactly why it didn't work because it looked like Tom Hanks, but not close enough to be a real person and not distant enough to be a cartoon. That's the dangerous of mo danger. That's why they don't, don't do motion capture cartoons anymore because of that exact thing, the Uncanny Valley. So this image doesn't violate it for me. It never stops looking human, right? Like this is very interesting. It's a short loop. And again, the usefulness of this, I want to be very specific, is just for catching the attention. This is to me, not a YouTube video, not a TikTok video. This is for where someone's scrolling down a screen and I want them to see motion to catch their eye. Mostly the place I've used these effectively is Pinterest. If you guys are using video like this somewhere else, useful to catch attention in a feed, like in a social media feed, let me know. I have not tested this type of image on um, a LinkedIn feed to see if it boosts. I have tested GIFs of other kinds and they haven't made a difference for my posts. So I don't know that this one particularly what it is interesting. So I may play around with it, but this is what has come out right now. This is the biggest news of the day right before the new year kicks off tomorrow. So I want to share this with you guys. Let me know what you think. Are you guys using Leonardo? What do you think of this tool? Do you want to see more demonstration videos? The more you tell me what you like and don't like, the better the content I can create for you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Have an amazing new year and make sure to hit the like button, hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button, those buttons below. They're always changing them, changing the names so that you can see more content like this. I really want to focus on what's practical and what's useful. So I'm always going to talk about content, specifically how you can use it in a business or growth setting, not just what's cool. That's not, it's interesting. So if you like usefulness, you like practicality, this is the right place. I'm always here for you.